Okay, so last night in my live, I spoke about Kim Porter and P. Diddy and the fact that their children came out with a statement. Let's break it down here as well. Hey guys, that's Morab Morali. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. Back again. It is daily and consistent content. Comment down below and give this video a thumbs up and let's get straight into this and not waste any time. Kim Porter's children, Diddy's children, and came out with a statement last night. Diddy's four children with Kim Porter are fed up with conspiracy theories and online rumors suggesting their father had anything to do with their mother's tragic death. Sons Quincy and Christian and twin daughters Jesse and Delilah took the extraordinary step Tuesday night to address what they call hurt and false rumors about their parents. We have seen so many hurtful and false rumors circulating about our parents, Kim Porter and Sean Combs' relationship, as well as about our mother's tragic passing, that we feel the need to speak out. Claims that our mum wrote a book are simply untrue, she did not, and anyone claiming to have a manuscript is misrepresenting themselves. Additionally, please understand that any so-called friend speaking on behalf of our mother or our family is not a friend, nor do they have her best interests at heart. Our lives were shattered when, our, when we lost our mother, she was our world, and nothing has been the same since she passed. While it has been incredibly difficult to reconcile how she could be taken from us too soon, the cause of her death has long been established, there was no foul play, grief is a lifelong process and we ask that everyone pay our respects. In a joint statement, they say it's been hard to reconcile how their mother Kim was taken from them too soon, but they dismiss any theories of Diddy being involved in her death. They clearly don't know their father. Now, LB has responded to this today and he has responded with Free Quincy in a statement, which of course is shady and objectively is not the best thing for this man to be doing because you want to be trying to bring back your relationship with your son and you were a deadbeat father back in the day but also was he just a deadbeat father or was Diddy doing something to prevent them from getting back together again we know how Diddy was powerful we know there's so many lawsuits we know there's so many forms of manipulation financial manipulation bad boy records all of their cl um, clients making the ban Freddie P like all of these people etc Diddy has done so much so why wouldn't he be able to put to not make these two back together again he is that powerful but Albie could have done a lot more if I had a son and we weren't on good terms, big problems, big issues. And I feel like him saying free Quincy isn't the right thing considering that they're meant to be on the road to try and get back together again. Now, wasn't it just reported um, I, literally the day before that Diddy finally spoke to his children on the phone? whilst he was in the prison and it was a very intense phone call and that they were very shocked and upset about xyz and then suddenly they come out with this manuscript text that comes out today i'm so sorry it's got diddy's lawyers written all over it we can have empathy for the children but my empathy is not with diddy's children to be honest with you i'll keep it very honest my empathy is not with their children i do feel sorry for them for the fact that they're going through this their passports are, are confiscated they're going through a lot but my empathy is with the victims and with the victims 90 percent more than anything considering all the madness that they have gone through one person spoke out in a lawsuit yesterday about how she had to lose consciousness because she couldn't stop the r word from diddy and his bodyguards this is where my empathy lies if he's this powerful to do all of this stuff why wouldn't he be doing stuff against Kim Porter. It's not just the public who think that Kim Porter's passing has anything to do with Diddy. Quincy's biological father, Al B, is also saying the same. I'll be honest with you guys. I do have friends in LA. I do have friends who work in the industry. Almost every single one of them have told me that Diddy had everything to do with Kim Porter's passing. So to me, it's giving the kids don't know their father like that. Because clearly you didn't know that your father was up to no good doing all of this madness. So why would you know if he had nothing to do with your mother's passing? Catch that T. You didn't know anything about these lawsuits, anything about the life that he's been living, the madness that he's been doing, the video with Cass. It's, I don't know. To me, it's just stupid. Like, I'm, I'm so sorry. I feel like his children are being stupid. And I'm not trying to be insensitive because they've seen a video where Diddy was dating Cassie for a very long time and was beating up in the hotel left, right and center. But suddenly now, without no proof or without the fact that you weren't even present there during their relationship together the majority of it you believe that he had nothing to do with their passing i'm so sorry if i saw a video of diddy beating up cassie i would almost then think that he definitely had something to do with the death of my mother because the way he dragged her back into that hotel the, it shows to me that they're not reading the lawsuits it shows to me that the children are being sheltered massively i can understand to an extent but they're also quite long the twins are like 17 they're young i just feel like christian combs quincy you guys low-key have to get it together because i understand being by your father no matter what because that's your mother that's your father period but for you to sit here and play faint and not look for justice is insane to me after what he did to cassie in that video you would think that he's done nothing to kim and then you want to put out that statement is insane to me. It's insane. 
it's truly insane when you weren't even there for most of what you think knew what happened anyways so where are you getting this information from your father the one who has had all of these lawsuits against him the one who's facing trafficking charges bringing girls between states you suddenly now believe she's got nothing he's on no, he has nothing to do with kim's passing it's insane to me it's it, it's truly insane how ignorance is bliss and i understand they're his children but i'm so sorry if you are an obstruction to justice then you are also in the wrong and they don't know for a fact that diddy had anything to do with kim porter's passing so they can't sit here and state it as a fact there are so many character alignments, so many actions that he's done, so many people saying stuff. Even your biological father, Al B, who even you, Kim Porter, is also saying the same thing. And you just all think it just does. I don't know. I just feel like uh, it's giving Diddy's lawyers. I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. I don't want to say anything about his children. I feel like it's very unnecessary and insensitive. I feel like it's Diddy's lawyers written all over this. The phone call. Also, you know, they just spoke to Diddy the day before, and then they want to come out with this statement. I don't know. It's just giving PR. It's giving Diddy's lawyers written all over this um, to help defend his kind of character. They're going to use the children to kind, you know, do so. For the last couple of months, Diddy has only been seen with his children, only been seen with his daughters. They know what they're doing, washing everything out. Remember these lawsuits. Remember the victims. They are at the center more than anybody. These victims are more at the center of attention than the children. People need to understand that. Children can also be used as weapons against. And that is, first, that is what I feel like Diddy is doing. The victims, the victims, the victims, they are the ones who are a center of attention. Those are the ones who deserve to be spoken about more than anything. Because something in, something in the buttermilk is not clean with this statement. Hopefully you guys agree with me. We were discussing this on my live last night and everybody was agreeing with me. when I got, So I'm glad that they were. But yeah. Suge Knight is back. And he is speaking out again. Um, and what he's saying is very interesting. Speaking to News Nation, and he is revealing through um, that Diddy is going through major drug withdrawals in jail and reveals that a guy named Tubby had a job at the label which involved bringing underage girls for artists and employees. Now, people think that Suge Knight is not a reliable source, and I don't know why. This man has nothing to lose. So I don't know why he wouldn't be reliable. Of course, he had severe, intense relations with them all back in the day death row and etc snoop tupac like he had all of these relations with a lot of these people so why would he suddenly now be given fan behavior i don't understand he's got nothing to lose and again him talking about the underage underage is very interesting because i definitely feel like underage individuals were absolutely involved i believe they were absolutely categorically involved and i just feel like people people act like diddy wasn't messing with underage individuals but he definitely was and that will expedite the severity of this case and that will definitely come out later on down the line absolutely i believe so people need to all start looking at ashton kutcher i don't know why people are not looking at him also cameron diaz these two individuals were also heavily related to diddy a video of ashton has been resurfaced about how he's talking about diddy's wildest moments but then stopped himself from speaking because of things that he may have seen it's giving what the lawyers are putting that to shut this down we're going to use the children that's what it's giving hopefully you guys are on the same page as me if not head back to the library subscribe to the channel comment down below give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it if you just click that button and subscribe it's just one click that's all you guys have to do nothing else comment down below let me know what your thoughts are when it comes to this absolute madness this diddy stuff is not gonna rest gonna go live again to, gonna go live again tonight to discuss everything because more stuff is happening and we've got to stay clued up follow me on my instagram at murad underscore morali my tiktok murad morali as well send a super thanks if you guys wish to there's a dollar sign there you can send whatever you want this is the hardest that i think that i've ever worked coming onto youtube there's been so much going on i genuinely believe this is the hardest that i've ever worked because it's i was up until 5 a.m last night i've woken up doing videos again then i'm gonna go live again tonight it, we just we're just not stopping we're getting this content out to you guys constantly constantly and i like the fact that i tried to keep all of my videos under 10 minutes max at least to get all of this packed information in there for you guys so all of you guys are clued up subscribe comment down below and like i said this diddy stuff has just begun it's just begun it's just begun it's just begun it's just begun oh lord